Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just on the products, so it's going to be a really short video and it's about three products and I've been doing these quite a bit recently just because I feel like often I do makeup tutorials, which is what I love, I love makeup, but I don't get to speak about the products fully in the tutorial because I'm like showing how I got the look rather than talking about the products specifically. So I've decided to sit down and just talk about three products that I'm absolutely loving and explain why. Or, you know, three products that maybe I'm not loving but I haven't done that yet. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so I have to talk about this product because I have just uploaded my third look using this palette and I've done a series of looks using this palette and I love, love, love the palette so I feel like I definitely have to talk about it now in case you haven't watched those yet. But the first product I want to talk about is this. Is this so? This is the new nude palette by Hidden Beauty, and first of all, the packaging is really, really cute. It's like a soft, pinky kind of thing, and it feels like a sturdy palette as well. And it's got a large mirror on the inside, which is always good. But these colours are so, so nice. <sighs> I actually don't even know where to start. The matte shades are amazing. They're fully blendable and buildable, and so easy to work with, and so pigmented as well, and really, really nice. And then the shimmers are also incredible, so I actually just filmed my third look using this palette, so that's what I've got on my eyes right now. I literally love this palette so much. I know it's a bit more expensive than other palettes. <sighs> I happen to think it's worth it. If you find a palette that you love, it lasts ages and you get so much use out of it. And it's also not even like I just use one colour, which I have a lot of palettes and I just tend to go into the same three colours say, but this one I've actually used them all now. Oh, I haven't used that concealer one, but other than that I, I think I've actually used them all. And I love it, I just love, I love it. So diverse, you can create so many looks, you can have so many like cool looking daytime, like very soft, a little bit of colour, or you can have a darker matte eye look for the evening if you want, or you can go for like a full glam shimmer eye look for either or, daytime or evening. I think it's such, such a nice palette to use and so many looks are possible from it, so that's why I also think it is worth the money. So this is product number one. Product number two, which I've actually had for ages, I got given it and I've only used it for the first time recently. It's also the only product I have from this brand and I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's spelled E-C-R-U, a crew. But, um, so it's a lipstick and it's in the shade Midtown Mauve, Ma Ma Mauve, I think it's Mauve, anyway that's how you spell it, is that Mauve? Yeah. It's really, really cute, so I'm wearing it now, it's not scented but that's fine, kind of. <laughs> it's really velvety and moisturising on my lips, like a lot of lipsticks I have, um, I can't wear just on their own, I'll put like a little bit of Vaseline either first or after or then I'll put a little bit of like something that's a bit more moisturising but this I'm fully wearing on its own and I feel like it's so rich and creamy and velvety and moisturising this might be my new favourite daytime lipstick because of that reason that if you've got like slightly dry lips or whatever that's fine, who cares? This isn't a dry lipstick. The third thing I want to talk about, and I have been enjoying talking about like two makeup or skincare products and a third that's maybe not makeup or skincare, just because there are other things in this world than makeup and skincare. So the third one I want to talk about that I love, and it's just a personal product that I have that I absolutely love, and I just want to talk about it, is my hair tie. So I'll put the details of um, where I got it from but it's just like you know one of these ones and as I mentioned in my last video I can suffer from like dry hair, not like suffer but I get dry hair. So anything that's like a bit better for my hair I love and I always used to use um, hair ties or scrunchies like thin black bands. <sighs> Those things would rip my hair out like there's no tomorrow. I always had huge balls of hair around the hair tie, so weirdly only one, and then even if I cut that one off, I'd get another one, but I've never had more than one. I have no idea why. But I don't have that problem anymore now that I use this hair tie. I feel like I should put it on now so you can see, but is it gonna be a good look, who knows? 
Um, but yeah, this one is so respectful of my hair. It doesn't pull it out, nothing. So I really recommend if you struggle with like dry hair or your hair breaks easily and you're using one of those like elastic band style ha hair bands and it's like pulling your hair out and you often get like hair stuck to your hair band. That isn't good because <laughs> it's literally pulled it out of your head. <laughs> so a hair tie like this is really good. Obviously it can get in a knot and that's really annoying and the other really annoying thing about this is that when I drop it on the floor I can't find it because it's basically clear. So it has its pros and cons but if you don't drop it on the floor and you are a bit like gentle with it then I feel like the con the pros outweigh the cons you know. So yeah I really recommend this. So there are my three products that I wanted to talk to you about today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this style of videos as well and appreciate that I have so much in my heart about these products and I just need to get them out. Ooh. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below on any products that you want me to try or review. Otherwise, I'll just be continuing to do the ones that I love. But yeah, I really hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. And I think that it's right.